So now we're going to learn how to use the secondary color corrector in uh, Color Finesse. So we'll start, I'm going to double click in the project and I'm going to import, import the MIME field uh, footage. Drag that into a new comp. And let's take a look at what we got here. So drag down the timeline, you'll see that we are revealing an army of MIMES below us intent on making um, us just like them. Now, this is actually an After Effects shot. We only had 10 mimes, these 10, when we shot this, so we did a locked off shot, and we put our mimes here, and we told them some business, and we told them to come here and do some business, and then they did it here, and here, and here, and here, and thus giving us an awesome army of mimes. But now let's make the world even a little trippier, and we're going to change the grass into something a little more mime friendly, perhaps. And we're going to use that using the secondary color corrector. So we'll click on that. We can isolate up to six different colors uh, in this area. And so, but we'll just click A and we're going to just start collecting green samples. So I'm going to collect sample one, click on the color picker, hold down shift to grab a big area, and I'm going to click right there. And you'll see that we've collect, selected some nice grassy green. Well, let's see how much we really c collected. So I'm going to click on Show Preview and Desaturate is going to be our option. And you'll see that I actually didn't pick much green at all. But there's a whole lot of other shades of green that we need to collect with our color picker. Um, in Preview as well, there's the Alpha view, which is also important to us because in the Alpha view, Basically, what the color corrector will only change is elements in the white area, and it will leave the black area completely alone. And so that's so it's looking at that luminance to uh, make those changes. So let's come out of. Let's actually let's go back to desaturate. Take a look at an area we need to pick. So I'm going to pick this grassy area right there by our mimes. So we'll turn off preview. We will pick our second sample, I'll hold down shift, and we'll pick that area and we'll see how effective we are when we say click on show preview. Um, let's pick a gray spot just to the left of that mime. So we'll come out of show preview, we'll pick sample three, that dark spot there, holding down shift, to pick a wider color, click on show preview, and then there's this area here right below this mime that I think would be good to grab. This nice light area. And we will pick that. We'll show preview. And now we'll see that, yeah, we've done a pretty good job of selecting our green spots. So now let's go ahead and change the hue to something wacky to see how well we've done. And ultimately, so we'll just pick this for right now. And we'll see that we've got a couple missed spots and we've got a little bit of leaking here on the sidewalk. And so let's tweak that as best as we can using the chroma tolerance, luma tolerance, and softness. So I'm going to drag chroma tolerance to the left until this sidewalk right here kind of cleans up. Okay, And now by doing that we've kind of created some holes in our grass. So let's see if we can drag our luma tolerance out some. And that's pretty good. And now let's increase our softness to see if we can fill the spots in between. All right, and now I think I want to live in a pink world. And we can also do that by grabbing this bad boy and pointing to pink. And we can then pull down the saturation. with the gamma and gain. So 
So we got our sidewalks a little too pink right there. So let's see if we can pull back on our softness, perhaps. So yeah, pulling back on our softness gives us that back. And I don't like pink. Let's go back to. To blue, boost up the saturation. And that's how we will, how we choose the color picker. So and then we also have strength, which is kind of basically the opacity of it as well. And I like it all boosted up right there. Okay. So that's how you use the color corrector.